I think it's important when we're talking about these to highlight the ones that are Ohio the State. ones that are the most important for implications in 2024. And you said this in the beginning Ohio that Ohio State has not been super highly covered up until the past couple of weeks that there was a legitimate chance that there was going to be competition here. I think as soon as Will Howard committed, everyone thought locked in, he is going to be the starter. But, you know, book it. He's going to be the starter. But it sounds like not only are there murmurs that Devin Brown is killing it, but on top of this, it sounds like Julian Sands doing really well, too. Mm -hmm. I just think that we're this deep into spring practices and there's some time until it's going to be done for Ohio State. The fact that the competition feels this wide open from the articles that you read, it, it really does make me believe that there's maybe one, not a ton of confidence in Will Howard, and two, there's enough talent for once that another guy could take over. I really personally think, and this isn't me saying he will start, I would love to see Devin Brown. I really think that his physical profile fits perfectly with what Chip Kelly wants to run. If, why am I blanking on the name of the, the guy who, was, who just took the BC job? Holy crap. Uh, Bill O'Brien. If Bill O'Brien was still there, I would argue no questions asked. It probably would have been Will Howard. But I think that the minute Chip Kelly and they enters made the, the move equation, when O'Brien was there, now that Chip Kelly's in the equation, I think it completely shifts mm. the dynamic of this whole thing. Uh, you bring up an interesting point with the Bill O'Brien thing, and it's something that I haven't really thought about that. And that is interesting because they brought in Will Howard when Bill was there. I think that this battle, if if it really is a battle, which a lot of Ohio State fans said that say it is, I, I think it's a win win because I don't think that Will Howard's going to hit the portal again. And Joe, the worst case scenario is that he Devin Brown sucks, uh, and Will Howard's your serviceable backup that can play game manager and lead you to where I think that you want to go. Here's the thing for me, and you you shot me down on this, and. I, I kind of want to go back to it. Devin Brown would have to have, if he's going to be the guy, and then if he's going to be the guy to lead them, Joe, where they need to go, okay, he's going to have to take one of the biggest leaps from where he was last year to this one. By the way, he hasn't started a game, right? And like, he has not yeah. started. So... The He's also relatively young, though. It's not like this is a yeah, super Yeah, sure, senior. but how many times have we seen first-time starters that have been in his situation that's lost a battle, okay, then we saw him again, and we've seen him multiple times. He hasn't looked good. Joe, he's going to have to gain experience. Now, if he were somewhere else and he it could buy time where he could, you know, a team could go 9-3 and three and he can get all the experience he needed, I think he'd be fine. They can't do that at Ohio State right now. Their aspirations by what they did in the portal is national championship or bust. And I just don't know if Devin Brown is good enough. Okay. Well, let me back up. I don't know if he's experienced enough to take them where they need to go. I got to, I understand what you're saying. And I 1000 actually 100% agree with you. The style that he plays with is exactly what Chip wants to do. Will is exactly what Bill O'Brien wanted to do. 100% agree. The problem that I will struggle with and which I will need to see, hey, man, how big of a leap did this kid actually take? Because, Joe, we saw him. I know he got hurt, but we saw him in game one against Indiana, and he couldn't beat out Kyle McCord. So are, are you really going to expect me to believe the hype right now? That That's the issues that I have with him. One One final thing on him. Joe, I know that they want to run the football, and they're going to, and they got the backs and they got the dudes to do it. Joe, if they want to win a national title, he's got to be more than serviceable when it comes to throwing the football around the yard. And what was the biggest issue that he had? What? I mean, to me, Joe, it, it was like – I'm making a very bad joke. It was like Brucey from the long short. Hey, Brucey, hit me. The ball goes over here. He's not he's not accurate enough now. He doesn't have enough reps for us to like really be able to assess that. No, but, but you look, really oh, wait, wait. how oh. McCord struggled against Notre Dame when uh -huh. he had massive struggles. If Kyle, if if Devin Brown really was 
if it was as even as he said, he would have gotten other reps in other meaningless uh, games. I see. I kind of disagree with that. I, I think that they were towing this line of trying to make sure that Kyle McCord was confident with his ability. You know that you want to place him in a situation where he doesn't feel like somebody has somebody breathing down his neck. But the season's passed, he and then they for three for negative two yards against Indiana, Joe. Dude, he had three passes. That's three throws. Like we gotta, a lot can happen in an off season. He had a total of negative five yards against Indiana. Look, this all just comes back to to what I don't think that it was a foregone conclusion that Will Howard was going to be some savior. I, no, you, know, I was, you just don't like Will Howard. No, fuck, fuck that. You know what? I this is my, but that's my whole goddamn point. My whole goddamn point is is he comes in and everyone's all. Oh, he just is. This is perfect. Look, he's he's so experienced. He's a big, strong kid. He's going to be so good at Ohio State. He was perfectly mediocre at Kansas State, and he got beat out by Avery Johnson. And look what's about to happen now. If he was as good as he was, there'd be no competition. There'd be none. But there is. There's suddenly this competition between a guy who apparently was dog shit last year. You know what? Hell, I'm going to flip the angle here before we talk about Michigan in a second. I would argue that this is more telling of Will Howard than anything. What? Why is he competing when he's supposed to be so good? He started multiple because, a season and a half at Kansas State. On. BS. Multiple multiple teams that have taken portal quarterbacks have given the guy that had been there and during the spring and told them that they're competing for the starting job when they had they they weren't really even starting for the starting job. The school that I covered did it twice. With Jaden Daniels, they got Miles Brennan's peg leg ass running out there, and they said he's competing for the starting job. The hell he was competing for the starting job. By Riley Leonard's hurt. Way. He's not competing for the starting job. Everybody knows that Riley Leonard's the starting quarterback in Notre Dame. You want to know why? Because he's not dog shit. Yeah, but that's, good. that's different. You didn't have a top 50 guy at quarterback that went there like Devin Brown was. So I, I, all I'm saying is you have a highly talented individual that's been there Okay, people love him, and they're not gonna they're gonna let him battle to see if he can win it. Can I be real with you? I don't think he can. Well, we'll have to we'll have to see what comes. Here's out the of real that. truth. Here's the yeah. real truth before we get out of here. Julian Sane's better than all of them. Well, that I mean, that's the the most impressive part is that Sayin keeps getting brought up. You keep hearing his name. I, I'm excited, man. I think that Julian Sayin in a year years time when he takes over this job is going to be can I, a can I, ask, can I ask a question yeah uh, are we sure they make it through the year i think it's really risky and you just said this if you're trying to win a national title you're not putting a true freshman i, I just well not. the only one that not. did it and you hate him but the only one that did it was Dabo. And I don't know if saving if saying is on the level of a Lawrence. I don't. I yeah. That's why. Like I just don't. Th there was a completely different level of hype coming in with Trevor Lawrence and and, and Saiyan's talented. Yeah, but, hype, but hype and actual reality, like reality of how good. Nah, the kid is well, but that's the whole the whole point with Trevor Lawrence is that like everyone saw that it was there and it was like okay, well, as soon as he steps on the field, he's going to be a first overall right. pick. Like by by the I, way, I mean yeah. Had multiple games as a freshman that he was below or at five uh fifty percent completion percentage was right. Trevor Lawrence. So Bet Online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet Online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to bet online today and use promo code believe that's B L E A V for 50% off your first deposit. That is a 50% welcome bonus bet online where the game starts.